Remove oil level filler cap. Fill with oil. The oil level should be to the top of the oil filler neck. Tighten the oil level filler cap. Connecting the battery terminals. Attention! Need to tighten the screws. Remove the fuel tank cap and fill with diesel. Check the fuel level gauge. The red area indicates the fuel level. Always keep at least 30% full. On first start, or if you run out of diesel, it may be necessary to bleed the fuel system. To do this, loosen the clip and remove pipe from injector pump. Allow fuel to flow into a container until all air is removed. Switch off the circuit breaker. Ensure the control handle is in the run position. Press the decompression valve and then pull the recoil start with several times to allow diesel to enter into the fuel pipe. Pull the recoil start handler to the top, then press the decompression valve. Pull the recoil start speedlet to start the generator. Insert the key. First turn to the on position, then turn the key clockwise until the generator starts. Each start time should not exceed 5 seconds. Wait for 3 minutes after 3 unsuccessful start attempts to prevent the starter motor from overheating. Switch to 230 volts mode. Before connecting the load, plug to the load socket. Then switch the circuit breaker on. Switch to 400 volts mode. Before connecting the load, plug to the load socket. Then switch the circuit breaker on. Switch the circuit breaker off before stopping the generator. Remove the plug. After the generator has been running without load for 3 minutes, push down the stop button of speed control handler. Switch the circuit breaker off before stopping the generator. Remove the plug. After the generator has been running without load for 3 minutes, turn the key to O position to stop generator.